Happy Valentine's Day, YouTube, from Annika Van Buren here in Ocala, Florida. I thought I'd wear something special for you for the day. All in red, from head to toe. <laughs> red stilettos with a big point. I know you've seen these before. I call them my roach killers. And this is kind of a bodysuit that ties around the front. It's shirt here, so we don't get in any trouble with YouTube. And this is kind of a, I don't know what you call this, a very cropped top because my arms are all banged up. And I hate putting makeup on every time I want to have my arms showing. So pantyhose, of course. And let me turn around. Are you ready for this? And we'll walk away a little for you. What do you think? It's a beautiful day here. A little cooler, but lovely, sunny. My orchids are right through that window and all have little tiny buds on them. The one inside on my desk has started to bloom. So I'm not really that hard to please. I get a big kick out of watching the birds outside of my window in the kitchen where my desk is in the mornings until the mockingbird came along and chased them away. Did you know that they're little bullies? So, I have one little titmouse that says, I don't care what you do, walking bird. I'm going to be here anyway. <laughs> Just this little tiny bird. <laughs> He's bold. Or it could be a she. I don't know. So, um, I love that. And I love taking care of my garden here. I'm getting used to all the differences here. The light hits this garden totally differently from my last house. And so I'm trying to figure out how they'll be the happiest because they don't want full sun. Um, certain varieties can take a little more. I won't bore you to tears. And others just get scorched. And in this Florida sun, that happens very quickly, especially in the summer. So right now I'm looking, here is shade, here is sun. A little bit later, the sun's gonna be over here. So the sun comes up right over here in the morning and just shines right in my living room window. It's taken me some time to get used to a totally different city, a totally different vibe, a totally different lifestyle. Um, and I have my moments. <laughs> I think we all do when we move and we make changes. When I think, did I do the right thing? But you know what? No matter what we do do, there are blessings in each and every one of them. So um, I love wearing this for you today. I'll turn around again. Yes, it's a little thong at the back. And um, I'll kind of keep you posted as we go along here. The house is fairly well settled. Um, I have a life coach that I consult every once in a while. You thinking, you? Yeah, he's a very wise guy who lives in Albany, New York, and I've been consulting with him for almost 15 years. Uh, he has a tremendous amount of common sense. And he said to me that right now your energy is going toward the house and business is taking a back seat, which is never the smartest thing to do, but because I also do interior redesign it drives me crazy if things aren't done. <laughs> so I'm like headlong into um, just getting this finished and getting things pleasing to my eye. I think as a Leo, that's all so part of it. We do appre appreciate beauty. It doesn't have to be expensive beauty, but we needed to be surrounded by beautiful things. And a lot of the things that I have in this room, you've seen before. There's the dresser that I just, refinished it's all silver now 
and that mirror I had in the last master suite. Um, artwork on the walls. Uh, the only thing that's new in here is that little tiny print of sort of an etching, a line drawing of a nude, not explicit at all. And it's small, so what I did was I had a bigger picture and I did not like what was inside of it. So I took it all out and I mounted it on the wall and then I measured to get the little etching exactly in place. Now, if you look this way, there's another one. It's not the same, it's similar. And so now that just kind of finished off this room. And now I'm happy. <laughs> so my flowers, my home, my birds, my kitchen, all those things are very important to me. And then there's this naughty side. What can I say? I'm a grandmother of many moods. So I hope you're enjoying this Valentine's Day with your sweetheart. Um, I'm going to be celebrating it with mine this weekend. So we're going to meet back down at the old resort that I used to, to live in. And uh, we're going to have a long weekend together, which will be fun. So many of you asked, are you married? No, I'm not married. I was married for a long, long time um, to someone that had a lot of problems with his temper and his anger. And I escaped when I was in my 50s. And I've never looked back and regretted that moment. And so I've been single a long, long time. And I plan to be single probably until the end of the time because I like my own company. <laughs> And I like my peace and my quiet. And I like to have my friend come and visit. And I'm happy when he goes home. So, does that sound a little strange? I don't think so. It's a peaceful life. And I totally love it. And I'm very, very thankful for you here. Who come and share these moments with me. Um, it means a lot to me. So, if you haven't subscribed to Annika Van Buren at YouTube, please do so. Just hit that subscription button. And then if you really like my content, then ring that bell. And by all means, if you like what you see here, please tell me, put it down in the comments below. I really appreciate it. And I do read them all, believe it or not. I might not write a lot. I might just put a little heart. That means I've seen it and I like it. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Valentine's Week with your sweethearts. And remember, it doesn't cost a thing to be kind. So pass it on. Namaste, my friends.